This example reviews a key skill, which is estimation, and also puts a bit of bid mass in there as well. Now we're asked to estimate this particular expression. Now the key thing not to do here, which a lot of students do do, is to plough in and start to work things out straight away. The key here is to round all of these figures <coughs> to one significant figure and to work out an estimation and to write it out first of all with all those figures in. So 19.4 we know is around about 20. So this is the same as 20 squared. There's a 30 there and a square root of what is approximately 100. And an integer next to a square root means that those two things are being multiplied together. Now bid mass then tells us how to work the order out in the correct way. And it basically says we do brackets first, then we do indices or powers, then we divide, then we multiply, then we add, then we subtract. And it's a rough rule to use to, to evaluate more complex expressions correctly. Now we actually have two powers here. We've got a square and a square root. So we would do those first because there are no brackets in this question particularly. Now 20 squared just means 20 lots of 20. Now 20 times 20 just equals 400. There's a 30 there. And square root is the opposite of squaring. Well, what number squares to make 100? Well, 10 times 10 is 100, so the square root of 100 just equals 10. Now, next step. We've done the powers. There's no division. So the next step is to do the multiplication. We don't add straight away. I've got to work out what 30 times 10 is. Well, 30 times 10 just equals 300. And I'm then left with one addition, which will be last on my list of things to do. And 400 plus 300 just equals 700. So the answer to this question in terms of an estimation is that this is roughly the same as 700. And as a recap, we write all the numbers to one significant figure. We then work out each part of the question in order using bid mass to help us. Where bid mass says we do brackets, then indices or powers, then division, then multiply, then we add, and then we finally subtract.